So next we are going to see the high performance liquid chromatography or HPLC. Let's start with the instrumentation. About the instrumentation, whatever you are seeing on the screen is the outline of the HPLC that we are using here at NCL by Dr. Barnes group. So it will start with the solvent reservoir. In the solvent reservoir, you would be selecting the solvent which will be your mobile phase. Based on the analysis, you can choose different mobile phases because the polarity matters in the separation, efficient separation of the component. Now this comes the pump. The pump would be pumping the solvent and also the sample onto the column. Near to the pump, you can see the manual injector port. We are using manual injection that we'd be using a syringe and injecting the sample into this injection port. So the manual injector and the pump would be connected. It would be pumping. The pump would be pumping the sample and the solvent to the column. So this setup is the column. Column is actually in a preheated mode. That is, it is kept inside an oven. So that is the oven and this is the column that we are using. We would be keeping a particular temperature for doing the analysis. Now comes the interface system. The interface system includes chromatography interface and network interface. It would be connecting the software, computer and the instrument together. Now, finally, it moves on to the uh, refractive index dictator. From the refractive index dictator, the element is collected to the waste reservoir by this. Now, let us understand how the software works. So, for this process, we are using a software called as Total Chrome Navigator or TC Nav. Its windows would be appearing like this. We have to log on to the software, and this is the outline of the software. You can see the status of the instrument. Now the instrument is not connected with the software. That is why it is having red color and the status. Now it have loads of options like build sequence, report format instrument, building method and so and so. So if you are doing the HPLC analysis for the first time, you have to build a method. So building method, you have to click there, create a new method, select the instrument on which you are creating the method. So here we have connect only one instrument and we have selected that instrument uh, giving next next to the parameter the main method that you are giving is the pump program so here you can see the time flow which solvent reservoir you are using so the flow rate depends on the column and the efficiency of the separation we have keeping 0.5 as the flow rate and uh, b is the solvent reservoir we are taking if we change the time it will tell you till what time the analysis will be getting extended so you can see the program time is now 60 minutes then you can read or edit if you want finally uh, save the entire thing in a definite folder or in a name that you like we have saved it just in a test one then now using this method you have to create a sequence that is you are telling the instrument uh, use this particular method for this much sequence so for that you have to select the method first we have saved in the test folder so test you have chosen the method and now you are telling uh, how many samples I have used for this particular method. So you can keep n number of samples. I have given 100 samples for this particular method. So it would be coming and where the uh, report file would be saving. Everything will be given in this particular window screen you can see. And finally you save this one as well. So now let's see how you are going to do the analysis. For doing analysis, the temperature of the column should be constant and the refractive index should be around zero. Okay, so this is the first condition that you have to keep. So you can see still the uh, system is not connected to the program. So you have to ask the system to connect to the program or the software by run take control. So on taking control, you can see the CMD value is changing. The messages in the left corner is changing. Once that particular message reaches a constant value, you can see the cor uh, corresponding change in the pump as well. So see the CMD is ceasing and now the pump is in equilibrium, CMD is not, the message got changed. Now let's have a look at the pump. See the pump is now in 
external control or in equilibrium control so now the pump and the software are connected but still you haven't given the method that you have to do or sequence you have to do for that go to instrument select the sequence that you have created this on selecting the sequence you already have the method involved in that sequence so i'm taking a sequence which i have made for my analysis that is three digit sequence now the scheme so the starting row and ending row is there i have already done 29 samples so now i have to do my 30th sample so i am giving the starting row as 30 and clicking ok so wait till the instrument load that particular sequence of analysis so on waiting you can see the red color will start changing to green color once the instrument is ready to analyze analyze the sample so now you can see the red color has changed to green now it is a point where you have to introduce the sample into the injection port the analysis will be doing in this particular syringe we will be taking the sample in the syringe i have my sample and this is the syringe that i'll be taking it is a 50 microliter syringe so the capacity of the syringe is 50 microliter or 0 0.05 milliliter now this is the injection port you have to inject exactly like this so this is the injection mode once you have injected this one you have to lift that knob up and that condition is called as a load condition now i have loaded the sample now the pump would be taking the sample and the mobile face together to that particular column we have started the analysis at that time the color of the instrument status changes so this shows that the analysis has been started now to find out the real-time plot click the real-time plot and you can see a new window where the analysis would be recorded so i had the program time of 60 minutes now this is after 30 minutes how this is happening so this is how the chromatogram actually looks like different peaks would be a different retention time so we have already standardized the retention time i know at particular retention time what would be the sample LUT. so comparing this with the literature or the standard that you have done you can select your component now we are going to integrate our chromatogram by clicking graphic edit select the chromatogram that has to be integrated once the graph comes you have to remove the noise by clicking noise ratio noise signal ratio then go to processes manual integration then you can manually select the peaks that has to be integrated so literally all the peak you have to select and once you have selected the peak you have to go to file print preview that would be giving you the intake chromatogram and the time retention time and the area percentage in PDF.